It's time for Tune Talk. Yeah! In this episode, Peepo Day. And now, here's your host, Howard and Trisha. Hi folks, and welcome to Toon Talk. I'm Howard. I'm Trisha. Yeah! Today we're talking about the tune Peep O'Day. It comes from Duck Wooten from Junction, Texas. This is a tune I learned from Tim Wooten, the grandson of Duck Wooten. Tim and Angie Wooten live in a house that's made out of straw. And that's all we've got. <laughs> <laughs> Peepo Day comes from Thomas Jefferson Duck Wooten, born in 1882 in Mason, Texas. Duck Wooten had very interesting tunes. This is like one of my favorite sea tunes, though. What the weatherman says when the weatherman says it's raining. But whence does this peculiar melody and its quirky title originate? According to our exhaustive research, the tune itself has no antecedent save for its melodic similarities to the tune The Darker the Night, the Better I See from North Carolina fiddler Manco Sneed. Is this even on? I think this tune is kind of difficult. There, the two passes in the tune that it took me a while to realize uh, what happens. The one where you like land on the G note and the one where you land on the C note. Do you know which part I'm talking about in the A part? Mm, yeah, but I think it goes down to an, all the way to the E. E? Uh-huh. I don't think so. I don't know. We might have to get a fiddle. <laughs> OK, I guess I'll go get the fiddle. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Talk about stuff. <laughs> I got nothing except that I got sweatpants on. That note right there is the C. But the next pass, it's G. G. That's what, that's what ah. I meant. Okay. Was yeah. I right? Yeah, you were right. Yeah, thanks. It has such an unusual melody that one cannot help but speculate how it became thus, but such speculation would be merely grasping at straws. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those peepers? Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those eyes? Just as all roads lead to Rome, all tunes lead to Coles, a.k.a. Ryan's, and Peepo Day is listed among the reels in that panoptic tone. Let's give a listen to Leland Martin playing the Peepo Day reel from his YouTube channel, Leland Plays Ryan's Mammoth Collection. However, Peepo Day is not merely a 19th century reel, but also a waltz, a jig, a polka, a song, and a march, all of these being different melodies in different keys, none of them sounding remotely like Duck Wooten's tune. So why was this tune title so popularly applied to so many tunes in the 19th century? The simple definition of the term refers to the first light of sunrise, and one could stop there with a modicum of satisfaction, but just as the title was used ubiquitously among so many tunes, it was also generously applied to other non-musical tangibles. The first of which is the Peepo Day Boys, a group of 18th century Irish Protestants who made it their business to destroy the goods and effects of rival Catholic weavers in the region. This, however, is doubtfully the origin of the title, as the word boys is not included in any of the tunes with that name. 
Then there is the Peepo Day Wood in North Yorkshire, Peepo Day Lane near the River Ock, also in the UK, racehorses with that name, several children's books, including one bizarre children's book by a Mrs. Favel Lee Mortimer that states, God has covered your bones with flesh soft and warm. God has put skin outside and it covers your flesh and blood like a coat. Will your bones break? Yes, they would, if you were to fall from a high place or if a cart were to go over them. How easy it would be to hurt your poor little body. It goes on to state various ways that the human form can be mangled and tortured in graphic detail. I don't think that this is the source of our tune title. More likely, the title is either from a popular stage play of the same name written by Edmund Falconer in 1861, or an iron-hulled sailing ship built in 1863 by the Marshall Brothers of Newcastle. All of this is speculation and leads one back to the possibility that Duck Wooten's tune may simply refer to the first light of day. And who really cares, anyway? Did I just spend three days researching this stuff only to find that it's utterly meaningless? Perhaps Mrs. Mortimer was right all along. How easy it is to break our puerile human flesh. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take up arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing in them. Uh, this was obviously a complete and total bust, so if you want your money back, email me. Thanks for tuning in here on Tune Talk, where the talk is always... In tune. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Here we go, man. <laughs> Okay, what a freaking disaster. <laughs> well, you get something, won't you?